Hello everybody and welcome back to Hearts of Iron where we are getting close to having the world conquered but of course we're not there yet. Now I believe we are justifying on Ryukyu or we were thinking about it. Looks like we were thinking about it but we decided to do a couple of other things instead. First off we are landing out over here to uh, get Cam Shadals fully under our control. That is step one. Step two is that we landed over here in, near Busan in order to get Japan fully under our control. And we should immediately begin an offensive line out over this way with our Marines before they run out of supplies. So we'll get that going. And we're also pushing into Manchukuo over here. Now, as far as our actual war goes, those are the only ones that we're against. So this should be fine. And once we have this taken over, we can repurpose these guys for an invasion of Ryukyu. And that'll be great. So we are pushing into Busan. And yeah, looks like there's absolutely no problem with pushing into Busan here. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. Hopefully, anyway. We're pushing them back, but we are going to run out of supplies for these guys eventually. So that's a little bit concerning. But we should have a decent amount of grace period. In theory. They actually have quite a number of troops here. More than I thought. That's for sure. And apparently they have access through Ming. So that's noted. That said, we're about to take over their naval base. And there we go. So no more supply issues over here. Beautiful. And they're getting stack wiped. That's exactly what we were looking for. So, for, as far as Manchukuo goes, we do have these supply depots still being constructed over on this side. And that's fine. Uh, did we accidentally have a few down at the bottom here? Actually, yes, we did. So let's move those up. Beautiful. There we go. So we're going to get this done. That'll get our supply situation taken care of on this border. And we can start pushing into Manchukuo again. So Japan is now out of here. And that's perfect. We believe... No, nah, there's still this location of Japan here. We could send these guys over here in theory. But we can't enter Ming's territory. So we would need to do a naval invasion from like here to here. Only mildly awkward. Only mildly awkward. And this naval invasion is going to be launching in a few days. So that's all fine. We're going to be pushing in over this way again, and we fully expect that. Yeah, we can see that we got this built, and we pretty much immediately gained a bunch of ground. So we're going to put in an additional two supply depots here. Uh, one of those I put on the bottom in terms of priority. In fact, both of those I think I did. Yep. Let's go ahead and do that. Fantastic. And then we're going to connect this via railway. And then we're going to connect up over to here. That can branch up like that. And then come on over. This can connect up this direction. And then also can come out over here. Connecting to there and then like that. We can have an additional supply hub here. Cool. So we'll get that underway. And any of these that are on the bottom accidentally, we should definitely move to the top. I need to get better at remembering that. But there we go. We'll move those up. And a lot of that will get finished up pretty quickly. I think there's no doubt about that. And we're definitely pushing in fast here. Like, we're pushing in mega fast. We're definitely going to be outrunning our supplies. But they're in full collapse. Do they capitulate there? They do. Okay. So, we can get a decent amount here. Japan, I want to... I don't want to annex this to ourselves. I need to remember how we found this previously. I don't want to puppet Japan. Uh, I want to go to Armenian Japan. I want to give all of this Japanese stuff, except Busan, to Japan. That said, let's, let's pass here and see what they claim. Okay, so that's all that we're going to get. It looks like they didn't actually claim anything, which is sad. So, Busan doesn't move over. 
There's only so much that we can get here. So this all moves to Armenian Japan. Busan would come to us. Like that. Then, we definitely take everything that, that Chuck E. Cheese has here, for sure. Everything that Coden has. And everything that Cam Shadals has. Then Manchukuo. We can actually get everything here, too. Beautiful. So that appears to be everything. So if we submit those demands, yes, that gives us everything that we wanted. Beautiful. So we confirm and exit. It believes the game is over. The game is not over. <laughs> We're going to continue here. And from here, we have additional constructions to perform. So we're going to get a few more of these supply depots built. I'm going to build one here, and I'm going to build one here, and I'm going to build one here as well. And then down here, we're going to be a little bit more spaced out. But we definitely want one over this way. I really should be queuing these up at the top. There we go. And then we'll build one here, one here, one here, one here. And then say one here and one here. Maybe even one up over this way. Cool. There we go. So the purpose behind all of this, of course, is planning to fight Ming. So we'll get all of this linked up via railway. And apparently these railways are not getting queued up. Interesting. I don't know why that's happening. Have we reached some sort of, like, max number of buildings queued? No. Hmm, is it just not showing up? It's just not showing up. That's intriguing. If we close that and reopen it, it's still not there. Okay, let's make sure that we have this queued up in a, like, minimal fashion. And we can make sure that this is queued up a little bit better a little later on, but I want to make sure that all of these are connected in at least via something. Okay, that one actually showed up. Kind of. Let's let that finish, and we'll, we'll come back to that. We would also like to queue up everything else over here, but for the moment, we'll just let that work for a little bit. Okay, so we need to think about what this war against Ming is going to end up looking like. This is no longer necessary, so we can get rid of that. This invasion over here is no longer necessary, so we can get rid of that. We do still need an invasion of Ryukyu. So we can come on down to Okinawa and just land something like this. Cool. So they'll get ready for that. And how long before that's ready to go? 33 days is the answer. Okay, so... Is Okinawa the only other country in the world other than us and any Ming-aligned nations? I believe that's the case. I believe it's just us and Ming and Okinawa. So Okinawa is going to fall. And we'll justify on them soon, but we have a truce with them until 29 November. Okay, so we'll chill on that. Armenian Japan wants to lend lease. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm not sure why they want to do that. We, we don't have a war ongoing, but sure, I guess that's fine. We can check in and see, okay, we can definitely develop a few of these locations. Alaska is, of course, repeatable, and so we're trying not to take advantage of that. The rest of this is fine. So we'll get that all underway. And how is this construction going? It's being worked on, is the best that I can charitably give that for right now. It's being worked on. So we should let that tick away for a little while. I think that's very clear. So let's chill here until our truce with Okinawa is up. That is going to be 29 November again. So we've got about a month and a half on that. About a month and a half. So that sounds good. We need to think about what our plan to attack Ming is going to end up looking like. We have three army groups. And we might want to create a fourth. For this war. Because I'm just thinking about how many fronts we're going to be fighting on here. 
We're going to be fighting here. 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 We're going to be fighting here. Here. All of this up here. We're going to be fighting this entire border. We're going to be looking to naval invade here. We're going to be fighting here. All of these places we need to hit early on. Or at least have defensive capacity there. That's a lot. That's a lot of places. So one thing we can definitely do is tell this army group that they are going to come down here and front line on this side. That's certainly something that we can do. And eventually we can get this probably... Mm, you know what? I have changed my mind. I think this, this entire border here should be one army group. So... If that's the case, we're going to take this army group up here instead. They're not all going to be here, though. We're going to have these guys be positioned here. And then these guys are going to be positioned here, like that, to surround Ming Siberia. Okay. Then we've got this army group, which currently they're mostly just chilling down here. So what do we want them to do? Well, mostly they are going to position... Let's see, there, is there a connection over here? I think that there is. So, we're going to have one army group, or rather one army from this group, situated here. We're going to have one army situated here if there is a location to situate them. There is not. Okay, so only one army group is needed here. That sounds good. So we're going to have this army group come over here then. Or rather, singular army. And then this army comes here. This army should be capable of holding this location no problem. Right? That should be fine. And then from here, what else do we need to work on? Well, I would like to have these guys potentially preparing a naval invasion here. So, they would be launching from, like, here and taking that over. There's no naval base here, so that's a concern. But they're going to be having issues on so many fronts that I think it's fine. Now, we're going to take two units from here. And we're going to have them frontlining this down here, I think. Or maybe even just a singular unit. Like that. So we should definitely promote an officer here. So let's go ahead and promote up this guy. Cool. And now we can promote him again to Field Marshal. There we go. And there we go. We finally have all of our leaders. That's fantastic. So from here, are we missing anything else? Well, we don't have anybody up here. So that is a potential concern. Of course, we're going to launch our naval invasion of Ryukyu, and we should do so very, very shortly. Let's go ahead and justify. That'll take 70 days. So we should have started that a little earlier. And once we're done with that, our naval invasion here is going to come onto Taiwan. So that's definitely something that we're going to do, which means that we have nothing set up for this. And how shallowly garrisoned is this going to be, is a question. We'll find out. We'll definitely find out on that front. Okay. So this will be the broad concept for right now. I wouldn't mind pulling one army from over here. Because I don't think we'll need all of these armies up here. We'll pull one army over to here. Instead. Okay, that should solve the problem. That should solve the problem. Armenian Raj, yes. Cool. Okay, so all we need to do now is finish our invasion of Ryukyu. Which we're going to be done justifying soon enough in like 40 days. I should have started it a little earlier. I was under the impression it would only be 10 days, but it's 70. So that's fine. I'm not too concerned about that. I do want to check out our logistics over here and see how that ended up. Okay, uh, it's not terrible. 
a connection here would be good. A connection up to here would be nice. And potentially even a connection over here like that. And connecting down to this naval base as well. Something along those lines. Cool. And I also want to max out our naval bases that are over here. This railway should get maxed out. This is, I believe, just a supply depot, not a naval base. This is a supply depot here. This is definitely a naval base. As is this. That should get hooked into our logistics network. And then, of course, this didn't quite get queued up all the way to there. Okay. Cool. So now we should work on infrastructure in these areas where we can. There we go. That should do the trick. And we should also work on naval bases in Japan. Hang on. Yeah, these are not our territory. So we're not actually going to be too concerned about this for now. We should work on our naval base over here. Definitely. And I guess bump this up to level 5. Not that it's really necessary, but it's okay. We should probably consider building a naval base here to defend ourselves. Okay. Otherwise, I think we are all good. This is a level 2 naval base. We can definitely upgrade that. Level 2 naval base here. And a level 1 naval base. We can get those upgraded. There's no... Oh, no, there is a naval base up here. There we go. We'll get that done too. Okay, so our infrastructure is all queued up. Our naval bases are all queued up. Our supplies are good enough, I think. Yeah, I think, I think they're good enough. So at this point, let's go ahead and queue up our anti-air. There we go. Getting all of that done. Beautiful. And our radar stations. Most of this is already pre-queued up. There we go. As well as air bases. We'll get those under construction. It'll be a little while yet before we attack Ming. So we're definitely going to need to take some time. And I believe this is... Yeah, that's within Armenia and Japan. So I'm not too concerned about that. So we'll get this all underway. I'm just checking through here to see if we have all of that infrastructure under construction. And we have basically all of it. Okay, good. It's exactly what I wanted to see there. So we're going to tick on forward here while we work on our justification on Okinawa. And how long is that going to be? Still another 30 days. Okay. Looks good. As far as our actual Ming attack plan goes, we need to be thinking about that as well. So where are these guys located? These guys are the ones that are just kind of all over the place. So we're going to add in an offensive line of being here to these guys, and they can start that. These guys over here, they are going to have an offensive line of simply up to here, like that. They can get started on that once the war is declared. These guys are not in this location yet. They'll get there once the naval base level one is built, and we're going to have them simply look to push up to like here. This line will join together eventually and be a huge mess, and it'll be great. Okay, these guys here, they're going to look to push down to the south. Like so. And then these guys are looking to naval invade out over here, which will go as soon as we have that declared. Okay. This army group here. These guys are up this direction. Right. Okay, so we've got this army here which is part of the army group order. The army group order is basically just offensive line to the sea here, right? Like that. So it's a little awkward, but there we go. These guys are positioned over here right now. Sure. I'm just wondering who's assigned to this? Only 13 units are? Well, whatever, it's fine. Uh, these guys down here, there's no one assigned to it, hilariously. Uh, come on down here. This is supposed to be Army 2 assigned to this. There we go. 24 divisions assigned to that. Only 13 divisions from Army 1 here. There we go. So Army 1, their goal is going to be to, like, offensive line out like this. 
Army 2, their goal is going to be the offensive line, something like that. And Army 3 is these guys. Their goal, of course, is to offensive line directly in like that. Beautiful. So then we've got Army 4 and Army 5, who are part of the Army group. So they have their orders. That looks good. Next up, of course, is Army Group 3, which is these guys up here. They are perhaps going to have the toughest time of it. So we want these guys to pretty much immediately push up and join this line, right? So we want to offensive line and truncate this line to be something more along the lines of that. Beautiful. And they'll execute that. The rest of these troops, their primary goal is going to be to get rid of Ming Inner Mongolia and shorten this line by pushing to this river. That's their primary goal, is shorten that line. So they can go ahead and get that done. So that is our invasion of Ming. That's our plan. It's maybe a bit of a mess, but we're expecting substantial portions of this to fall very quickly. Other portions will be a bit tougher, but it should broadly be okay. We've got all of this infrastructure under construction right now, and we're going to take over Okinawa very swiftly. We're not expecting that to be at all difficult. That will be ready in 13 days. Cool. We've got all of these reserves if we need them. Ming should not be a major issue. I'm expecting Ming to fall pretty quickly here, to be honest. We are having some supply issues in Philippines and the Northern Far East. Not super shocked about that one. Yeah, this is still heavily under construction over on this side, so it'll take some time for that to get done. And what do we got going on here? We've got plenty of trucks, we've got plenty of trains, plenty of convoys. I'm not concerned about that. We can declare this war at any time now. So we go ahead and declare it. And honestly, war's already over. We're already done. So we'll just watch it. Hey, look at that. They have a navy. That That's adorable. <laughs> so Okinawa Falls. Fantastic. Ryukyu has capitulated. And honestly? Hmm. We have not called in Armenian Japan here. So, this goes to us. I was thinking that we would give it to Armenian Japan, but I guess this is fine. This is completely okay. We can have a staging ground here. We'll get all of this queued up if there's anything to queue up. And there is. Beautiful. Okay, so our naval base is good to go. And from here, we will plan our naval invasion of Taiwan. Cool. All we need to do, that is not where we want this. All we need to do is take over their naval base here. If we do that, Taiwan falls. So that is good. And they can go ahead and execute that as soon as they're ready. So we are now in a position where we can start justifying on Ming nearly any time. It'll take 70 days. Okay. Noted. Noted. So I'm just thinking here about when we want to fire that. We certainly want to wait until our infrastructure in the region is completed. And it's very close, in fact. It's very, very close. We're starting to hit our filler constructions as we speak, which is this, or not this stuff, this stuff down here is our filler constructions. So this is, I think, looking good. I want to head down to the bottom and make sure I didn't queue up anything on the wrong side. I did, so we're going to move those up. Cool. Let's get all of that moved on up. And that's looking good. The rest of this is all filler, and we don't care about it really. But we do desperately need to get all of this built. So we'll get that underway, and after that's done... That's when we're going to look to spark this war. 
So, how long on that? 86 days. So we know that we need to wait, like, two more weeks. And that's it. However, it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to attack Ming. We'll see if, if we finish them off in a single episode or not. That'll be very interesting to find out. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including Casserol, ALS Gamer, Kentuin, James, Shadow Wolf, Mlohan80, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Video Games Are Not Real, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Unisol, Kadra, Rogue Corvid, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.